what you guys got another video on 10 ways to turn off windows worst ads now we all know that microsoft have started to add ads to the uh, start menu and there's loads of other places that they like to force adverts onto you inside the windows 11 operating system and i'm going to show you how we can disable all of this and also turn off a lot of stuff like the widgets that you're not going to be needing and also the search and stuff like that that has ads added to them and we're going to be taking a look at how we can do all of this and i'll show you how to disable copilot and a bunch of other stuff that you don't need on windows 11. but before we do that let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or cheap windows 11 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description and make sure you use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and apply this to all your purchases on cd key sales once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to purchase it and then they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows. OK, so the first one we're going to be dealing with is the uh, start menu ads. So we're going to be disabling the start menu ads and these are going to be added to the future releases of Windows 11. So first off, go to start settings and then personalization. And inside here, you need to go to where it says start. Click on the start tab. And this will take you into this location and you will see a new location here called show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps and more. You want to turn this off because this is where they're going to be forcing ads on you through this location. So you definitely want to turn that off by just toggling off the actual switch here. Now you can do also do this in group policy and you can also do this uh, in the registry. But this is the easiest way to turn it off by just toggling the switches off right here. Next up, we're going to be getting rid of notification ads and also the full screen prompts that are delivered to you by Microsoft. And to do that, we need to go into system and notifications. So open up your settings pane and go to system, then go to notifications. Inside here, you're going to get a few options to disable. So inside here, you can either turn off the notifications altogether or we can come down to where it says additional settings and inside here there's going to be some ads uh, related stuff inside there so let me go ahead and drop that down so you can see and here we have three options which we can turn off so get tips and suggestions when using windows this is obviously going to be adverts and also suggestive ways to get the most out of windows and finish settings up on this device and then show the windows welcome experience after updates when you sign in to show what's uh, new and suggested. So turn all those free off and that will stop the ads being pushed to you. So also there's some other options here like autoplay settings and things like that suggested, but they're the main free there. But there's also some stuff up the top notifications area here, which is show notifications on the lock screen. And there's a bunch of other stuff here. If you don't want notifications whatsoever, you can just turn all of it off and it will stop them forcing notifications on you. And this includes forced ads on you by turning those off. Next up, we're going to take a look at how we can stop seeing ads in the settings pane. So in Windows 11, open up your settings app and then head over to your privacy and security. And then we're going to go to general and then we're going to turn off show me suggested content in the settings app. So this is what we're going to do here. So let's go to general inside your uh, privacy and security area. And then from here, we can now see there's some areas here we can uh, turn off. And you can see the one on the bottom there. Show me suggested content in the settings app. That's the one you want to turn off, but you can turn off some other ones in here if you wish and you don't need them. But that is the main one that you need to turn off which is going to be giving you ads. And I like to turn off the let app show me personalized ads uh, by using my advertising ID. And I normally turn all of these off in any case, but it's up to you what ones you turn off. But they're the main ones to turn off there. And this will stop Microsoft forcing ads on you as well. So this is more ads that they're uh, embedding inside their operating system. So that's that one taken care of. Next up, we're going to be hiding ads inside the File Explorer. Yes, there's ads also in File Explorer. And to get to this, we just need to open up File Explorer here. And from here, go to the three dots, go to Options. And inside here, we're going to be looking inside the View area. So let's go to the View tab up here. And we'll turn some of this stuff off in here. 
And what you're looking for inside here is show synced provider notifications. That's the one we want to turn off. And it's inside this location right here. So let's go ahead and uh, show it right here. You can see it right there. Just uncheck that one right there. And that should stop them uh, from also forcing ads on you. So this is to do with uh, the ads that Microsoft are all adding in. So click OK. And that one is now done. Next up, we're going to be disabling the lock screen ads. That's right. They've got ads on the lock screen as well, and we need to turn those off. And also inside uh, the Windows Spotlight area, which is a feature that is pretty decent to have as it offers good background images. But if you don't really want anything to do with Microsoft uh, showing advertisements, which they can do, you want to change this to what we see here as in picture. You don't want to have this set to window spotlight because this will allow them to put adverts on the uh, lock screen and you don't want to be forced ads on the lock screen. So I'm on a, a virtual machine here with uh, the non-activated version, so it's a bit grayed out. But if you don't have adverts, then change it to picture rather than using the window spotlight. Next up, uh, we're going to be going to uh, the window search pane here, and we're going to turn off all of this stuff here. And this is adverts that are forced on you, like games for you, and also some other random adverts that will be pumped out through this location. And you can turn all of this blow off. You don't really need it. And you can even turn off that co-pilot as well. And this just adds all the shopping content and stuff like that, games that you don't really need. So if you want to get rid of it, go into the settings app, and then also head over to the privacy and security area. And once we're inside there, we want to go to search permissions. So in, inside here, go to search. And inside there, we want to go to search permissions. There we go. And click on this one right here. And then once we're inside here, we can scroll down. And where it says show search highlights, we can turn that off. And this should uh, basically turn that feature off. We're also going to get rid of the adverts in there as well, which we don't want. So I'm going to turn that off. Next, we're going to do a registry tweak here to disable all of that. So I'm going to open up Notepad and we're going to paste in a simple registry edit here. I'll try and leave this in the video description. It's very straightforward and easy to do. You can do it manually if you wish. And all you need to do here is save this as a registry file. So let me go ahead and click Save As. And I just want to make sure that we've got the extension showing there and I don't have the extension shown. So let me quickly change that setting inside Explorer here. So just need to close this off here and go back to File Explorer and show uh, file extensions. And uh, let me go ahead and go to the uh, three dots options. And then we just check, take the check mark out of in the view tab here where it says hide extensions for known file types. Click OK. And now we're going to go back to our document and save this as a .reg file. So let's go ahead and do that. So all files, and you can call it whatever you like. So I'm just going to call mine disable notifications, something like that. And we'll put .reg on the end of it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just do dot on the end. It's important that you put the .reg on the end of it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Let's go ahead and do that and click save and then we can run it. And this will just remove all of that adverts inside the search box here. So let me go ahead and run the actual registry file here. Say yes and click OK. And that's now done. And if we check now on the search here and click on it, you can see it's all been removed. And that's exactly what we're after here. So let's move on to the next one. And that is to disable... Uh, the feedback pop-ups that you will be getting on your screen. And we can do that by going into settings and then privacy and security and then diagnostic and feedback. Inside the diagnostic and feedback, I've turned this all off, but inside here you will see the feedback frequency and it's set to automatically recommended. And this means it is going to be bombarding you with uh, feedback options. So we're going to put this to never and turn this off. And again, you can delete all your diagnostic data and stuff like that inside here as well. But you should have this turned off because this is obviously going to uh, send stuff back to Microsoft, which obviously you don't want to be doing. So that's now done. And that would be the feedback pop ups that you're avoiding now by uh, turning that off and putting it to never. 
Next up, we're going to be taking care of the widgets. So let's right click on the uh, taskbar here and go to taskbar settings. And what we're going to do here is there's some little switches here which we can turn off for Copilot and we can change the uh, search box to icon only. So I'm going to turn off Copilot here and we're going to turn off widgets, which is to do with all the news and stuff like that. If you don't want that uh, to be bombarding you, you can turn that off. Uh, there's also some other settings inside the widgets. If you turn it back on, uh, you can actually turn off those options before you toggle off the taskbar uh, widgets if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. Inside the actual widget itself, if you go here where it says uh, inside the actual widgets area in the settings, we've come down here and you can see where it says show or hide feeds and you can disable that and then turn off the widgets afterwards if you feel the need to do that you can do and that will completely disable uh, the widgets on windows and this will stop all of the actual feed that uh, microsoft send you through that area next up you're going to clean off any sort of applications you don't want here and this is just forced apps that have been forced upon you which you can just unpin or uninstall from your computer by just right clicking on them and removing them this simply by doing this it will just free up a lot of space on your start menu now if you want to customize your start menu i did make a video about how to do that for free and you can check back on some of my playlists and you will see how to customize your own window start menu which is the one you're looking at here or you can use something like uh, start 11 or something like that to change your start menu completely which i've also made videos on as well so check those videos out if you want to change and customize your start menu so I'm going to go through here and just uninstall a lot of this stuff. And uh, basically, once you've removed all of this bloat, it will be gone from the system. Now, there's some programs you can't remove, and you can use other programs like uh, Revo Uninstaller to remove these from the computer. And I'm just removing all of the stuff that I don't use on here, like Feedback Hub and things like that. Just remove everything that you don't want here, okay? And even the ones that you can't uninstall here, you might be able to do those with Revo. So I'll show you that as well, just to show you. And uh, we can take a look at that right now. So this is Revo Uninstaller. It's a free version. And we'll download the portable version here. And you can extract this to your desktop. And if there's any stubborn applications that won't allow you to uninstall them, you can possibly use something like this to remove them from your computer. And I'll quickly show you that here by just opening up the application and give you an idea of how it works. So basically just click OK here and it will open up the application and you can go to Windows apps here and remove any sort of stubborn Windows apps that won't allow you to uninstall. So let me quickly show you just one of these right here so you get an idea. So this one right here, get help. If you click on uninstall, it will make a restore point if you want to, click continue and it will open up a PowerShell window and uninstall these, click scan, and from scan, it will find any registry uh, keys that are left behind. Click select all, and then you can click on delete and delete them all. And that's that program gone and removed from your computer. And you can just go through any stubborn ones that don't have an uninstaller on them and remove them from the system. Very simple and easy to do. So I'll select all here and we'll delete and we'll delete all the leftovers. And there you go. It's that simple. OK, so next up, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Edge. Now, Edge is obviously to do with Microsoft. And again, you're going to want to uh, remove any sort of adverts that are forced on you inside here. So let's go ahead and do that inside the settings of this right here. We can go right on the sidebar here and turn the sidebar off just by toggling this off right here. And if we come down a little bit here, there's also some other options that are available as well. If you want to turn those off, the notifications and things like that, depending on what you're after. Once you open up your browser here, if you go up to settings of the actual browser, you can remove all of this right here, which is obviously uh, just adverts and stuff like that, which can obviously have malware in them. So I'm going to turn content off and it will remove those from the actual desktop. And I'm going to turn this one off, show promoted links, and that's now off. Background image, you can remove that as well. And it should look something like this when removed. And you can also see where it says show weather. You can turn that off as well if you don't want the weather on there. And that's how you can control 
the Microsoft Edge browser make it less clunky because it is a pretty decent browser, but with all that bloat, it's just really slow and cumbersome and I don't like any of that on my browsers. So let's go back up to settings here on the settings pane and inside here, if you go to privacy, uh, in the privacy area here and where it says privacy search and uh, services, you can set that to strict. And again, we can come down a little bit here because there is services down here which do have forced ads on them, which are going to be forced on you uh, when you're browsing. So if you go through here and have a little look, there's some stuff in here which you can toggle on and toggle off. For instance, you've got your Microsoft Defender smart screen to protect you, block potentially unwanted apps. If you want to download an app and it's stopping it, you can toggle that off and it will allow you to download them. And again, the services area right here, and you should see save time and money with shopping uh, with Microsoft Edge. And you can turn that feature off because obviously that's going to be to do with advertising and things like that. And that should help you uh, be able to be free from ads on Windows 11 and also inside your Microsoft Edge browser if you use Microsoft Edge, that is. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff on Windows 10, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you for Windows 10 because it is slightly different to Windows 11. And also, if you want to see this uh, for other settings, like for instance, inside here, you would still have to go through all your privacy settings and turn a lot of this other location and camera and all that stuff that if you don't use it, turn it all off because that does uh, use a lot of system resources and you can sort of claim back a bit of more system resources here. But if you want to see more on this sort of stuff, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to read those comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. Thank you.